Okay, so what we need to do is um, first to try and understand the question. So it might seem a little bit uh, complicated, but with our diagram, I think we should be able to do this. Now, obviously, because one is going uh, to Ondangwa and the other one to Vintuk, there is a meeting point. They will meet maybe somewhere here. And um, the reason I put this closer to Vintuk than to Ondangwa is because Anne is traveling faster than Damien. So it's more likely, or it makes more sense that they meet closer to Vintuk than closer to Ondangwa. Okay, so we can label this point here X, or we can think of it as x now we know that the total distance from ondangwa to vintuk is six seven one kilometers so don't worry about the towns if i say vintuk and luderitz or vintuk and some if i if i give you some towns like that i will tell you how far apart they are approximately so it's not that you have to go and memorize uh, the distances between all the towns in namibia no Okay, so if I give you Ondangwa and Vintuk or Okahanja and Vintuk, I will tell you what distance to use or how far apart those two towns are. Okay, so if they're meeting at this point X, okay, and we can say that N traveled, I can just write this down, N has traveled X kilometers so that is how far she has traveled say okay this distance up to there she has traveled x kilometers and then Damien traveling this much now we don't know what it is and I don't want to use another letter to represent it so what I should probably do is rewrite Damien's distance in terms of x and the total distance so if I know that from Ondangwa to Vintuk is 671 kilometers and I know from 0 to x sorry not 0 this is on Dangwa on Dangwa to x is 671 then it means that this distance from x to Vintuk is uh, 671 minus x so this Damien uh, traveled 671 minus x kilometers okay so does that make I hope that makes sense Okay, so this is uh, just information I'm reading from my diagram. Okay, so now that we know what the two distances are or how far each of them traveled, what do they have in common or what can we use to equate them? The time is what they will have in common because their speeds are different. The distances they've traveled are different because they're moving at different speeds. So the only thing that will be the same is how long they have traveled because they started at the same time. They have been driving continuously. None of them has stopped until they meet. So we want uh, or we know that their time is the same. So I hope you remember or at least you recall this triangle this distance speed time triangle so if I want time I say time is equals to the distance over the speed so I will say time is equals to distance over the speed okay so uh, whatever distance and or Damien has traveled and whatever uh, speed they have both traveled those are different but their times are exactly the same because they left Vintuk and Ondangwa at exactly the same time okay so I will say distance uh, sorry time is equal to this so this is for N for N she has traveled a distance of X kilometers and her speed, we're told in the question, she had an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Okay, so it is X over 120. Okay, and then for Damien, we said his distance is this one, 671 minus X. And what was his average speed? According to the question, this is 100. Now this is Anne's time, how long she has traveled. This is Damien's time. And we said these two are equal because they started at exactly the same time. Okay, so we can use these two equations, solve for x, and then answer the questions that follow. So I have x over 120. This is equal to 671 minus x over 100.
Okay, so we have, um, what do you call this? We have a denominator, so we should multiply by the lowest common multiple of the denominators. I think the lowest common multiple of the two denominators, what would it be? I don't know, but you can just multiply by the two denominators on both sides. That's what I will choose to do. So I will multiply by 120 on both sides, get my answer, and then also multiply by 100 on both sides. So you can find the lowest common multiple. So if I had uh, 10 and 12, the lowest common multiple would be 1,000 would be 120 so here the lowest common multiple is it 12,000 I don't know but this way is also fine you can find the lowest common multiple and then work it out that's also fine it's always best to use the lowest common multiple but it's not the only way to solve it okay so when I multiply with 120 here those two cancel I'm left with x times 100 which is 100 x and when I multiply by 120 times 100 this 100 cancels with that one and I am left with 120 times 671 minus x. Okay, the reason I put it in brackets is to show that I'm multiplying the entire thing by 120, not just this first one. So removing my brackets, I have 100x. This is equal to 120 times 671. I trust a calculator. 671 times 120. What does that give me? Uh... 80,520 and then I have 120 minus x so this is minus 120 x okay so how we've been solving for x everything with x on one side everything without x on the other side so this minus 120 will go to this side and it becomes positive so I will have 100 x plus this 120 became positive on the other side what do I have? 220. So I have 220x. This is equal to 80,520. Then I'll divide by 220 on both sides. And I get x on my calculator. So this is 80,520 divided by 220. That gives me x is equals to 36 six okay so that is the distance that was traveled so remember x we got it from our distance so this is the distance traveled by n so we can say n uh, traveled three six six kilometers and then remember the question says both of them and then we say damien traveled he traveled, uh, if you remember from our equation, it is 671 minus x. So we need a calculator for that one. So we say 671 minus 366. This is 305. So he traveled 305 kilometers. Okay, so that's the first part of the question. The second part is when did they meet so that means at the time if you if you read the question it says they started off at 8:57 a.m. so what time that's why it when did they meet so we know uh, where they met they met um 366 kilometers from Ondangwa which is also 305 kilometers from Vintuk okay and now for the when the when is the time we have our formulas for time that we wrote over there we say time uh, is equal to x over 120 you can also use 671 minus x over 100 your answers will be exactly the same if you do them correctly so here uh, x that was how um, the distance that Anne traveled, which is 366 over 120. This I do on my calculator and see what I get. I have 366 divided by 120. I get 61 over 
20. Maybe let me write this as a decimal. So I have 3.05 hours because this is in hours. My distance was in kilometers. My speed was in kilometers per hour. So it makes sense that the time is in hours. Now here, you need to be careful when you're working with time. Remember, 3.05 hours does not mean three hours and five minutes. That's not what it means, okay? So I would need to change this so that it is in terms of minutes. So I have three hours, this is three hours, and then I have to add this, this is zero point, um, this 3.05, this is five over 100 multiplied by 60 because this 3.06 I can rewrite it or I can see it this is 3 and 1 over 20 1 over 20 is the same as 5 over 100 so if I want to change this it's in hours now I want to change it into minutes I would say 1 over 20 or 5 over 100 which is the same thing I would multiply it by 60 because I have this many um, hours to change to minutes I multiply by 60 okay so I say 1 over uh, 20 when I multiply this by 60 I get 3 minutes so this is 3 hours plus 3 minutes but I still haven't answered the question of when the question says at what time did they meet that's what when means. if i ask you when is game of thrones playing you won't tell me in three hours and i want to know it's at nine o'clock that's when it's playing then i know okay or whatever you watch so uh they traveled uh three hours and three minutes so what time will it be three hours and three minutes from eight 57 so this is a simple calculation that you do you just say 8 57 plus 3 hours and 3 minutes now here I can 0 3 now here I can rewrite it as 8.57 because I know this 57 is not 8.57 it is 8 and 57 minutes so when I add these this give me 0 add 1 5 plus 1 is 60 but I don't have 60 minutes when I have 60 minutes I convert them to an hour that's why I have a 0 over here and then I carry it forward then I have 8 plus 1 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 okay so they will meet at 12 noon or you can uh, count it however you like to you say it's from 855 857 sorry you add three hours that's 957 uh 1057 1157 so the it's from 11 uh, 57 and then three minutes from there eight plus three minutes this will be 12 noon so it's 12 noon and not midnight